it's that time again. We are doing another one of my read out the weird challenges, but this time it's very focused around one particular sim. You may have been able to hear him hissing in the background while I was doing my intro. It is none other than Vlad. Vladislaw Stroud, who I want to call Vladosaurus every time I see his name. Does anybody else do well? I don't know, just me. Now, Vlad is a... Uh, He's an interesting sim. I feel like when they had the decision of, you know, we're going to make a count vampire for the new vampires pack, they either could have gone like sparkly pretty boy vampire a la Twilight, or they could have gone like archetypal, like creepy, you know, evil sort of vampire count. And they clearly went for the latter. So this is Vlad. Now, Vlad has a vampire form, a dark form, and his dark form looks like this. I don't really know why he loses the hair on his head, but not the hair on his eyebrows. There's also some weird connections there going between having no hair and being extra evil, which obviously, uh, I do notice. However, what we're going to be doing today is using some of my sims to see how long it takes to breed out Vlad's characteristics. Now, some people really like the look of Vlad. He definitely has an interesting sort of different look to a lot of the sims in the game. But I was literally just on Reddit reading a thread about how it's really difficult to breed out his features, particularly once your children hit teenagers. So when they're toddlers, children they kind of just look you know blah like toddlers and children you know they look pretty cute in the sims and then they hit teens and you start to notice some of Vlad's features pop out such as the very very arched eyebrows the eye shape as well I think is quite distinctive he's got a distinctive nose and a chin and also I would say he has quite a distinctive body type he like looks very long and thin his muscle tone and his weight are both set to absolute minimum so this would be changing the slider for his weight and then this would be changing the slider for his muscles and both of them are like right at the bottom here so what we're going to be doing today is seeing how long it takes to breed out some of those quite strong characteristics i would like you now to place your bets in the comments below i am thinking this is going to take us five generations because i've tried this student breed out the weirds a few times and certain things stick around for a while like you know noses and chins and eyes can stick around for a very long time so i'm interested to see just how long they will last i want to hear what you guys think as well in the comments below so go ahead and comment how many gens you think right now I also noticed that I've just accidentally linked uh, his dark form with his non-dark form. So it's kind of changed his dark form. So I'm gonna just re-download him. If you search Vlad, if you ever accidentally delete him from your game, then if you just search him, there is an OG Vlad. There's a lot of Vlad remakes. He invites a lot of remakes. I myself have also remade Vlad. Here is how Vlad looks in my game because of this exact reason. Spicy Vladdy Daddy. I wanted a spicier one. I like pretty sims. You guys know this. I know this. I'm not going to be ashamed of it. I'm not going to try and hide it. This is more visually appealing in my game. Look how pretty. But let's go ahead and get OG Vlad back in. And let's unlink these forms so we don't lose them again. And let's start importing some sims. Who will be the first sacrifice? How does this even work? Do you have to become a vampire in order to procreate with Vlad? I don't know. What is his aspiration? Master vampire. Yeah, I don't know. But we'll we'll find our first sacrifice. And I am actually, if you guys watch my most recent other cast challenge that I did, which was the inverted color challenge, this one was so freaking fun. And I loved the sim that we got from it so much that I'm like, I'm going to have to use her at some point. I want to use it in my gameplay. But for now, why don't we go ahead and use her as part of this challenge? So she will be our first sacrifice to the Vlad cause. Her name is Blood. Blanca Pagan, and she's just freaking beautiful. I made her completely inverted. You guys have to watch the challenge to see how we put her together and what changes we made from how she ended up to where she is now, but she's gorgeous. So let's go ahead and use her first. Let's play with the genetics. And since we've used, no, let's go Vlad, then a female sim, then a male sim, female sim. Let's do it that way because I like doing things that way. It's, it's kind of a fun way to do different skin details each time. So Blanca and Vlad, we're going to go for a girl. We'll go ahead and go for a toddler. And for each of them, we'll do three randomizations. So that is the first one. That is the second one. And that is the third one. Okay. That is an awful lot of blood. This child is called one, two, three. Taran. Tarn. Taran. Taran. 
Taran or Tarn? The English language makes no sense. Taran Vladosaurus Rex. And okay, I'm gonna keep the hair color that you came with and your eye color. I can already tell this child is pure Vlad. The Vlad energy on this child is so strong. We've definitely kept the eyebrows. I can tell that straight away. We've also kept the skin color. Vlad has that very stereotypical vampire skin where it is like deathly pale, which, you know, if you're a thousand year old vampire, I can kind of see. I think that does kind of make sense because the chances are you have been away from the sunlight for a long time and you might not notice that so much on a sim that's only been a vampire for maybe like a couple of years. But if you're very old, you're probably gonna notice it. So I'm gonna kind of play into it and rather than giving her a cheat coloring, I'm gonna kind of, you know, accept the fact that we're very, very pale. And I was trying to see if I could use mouth corners to make her look like she's a little bit less frowny. I don't think I can. I think that's a kind of wasted effort. Wait a minute, are you even a vampire? I don't know if you're a vampire. Since you're only one generation from Vlad and he dresses very old fashioned, I'm gonna do what I do in my vampire challenge series where I'm trying to do 10 generations of vampires. And I'm gonna dress you very old timey because I feel like you would be dressed very old timey. And since gray seems to kind of low key be the theme of your life, I'm gonna go for a gray dress and some little booties yeah. and some little wait i want to keep it more gray let's go more gray keep things nice and gray i'm gonna give you some gray shoes as well actually okay so here lies a child where like it, there's no color other than the eyes the yeah. prints are run out of ink it's a grayscale child except the eyes but i kind of love that about her this is generation one let's go ahead and see what tar and vladosaurus rex looks like as a child. Now, as a child, I still don't think we're going to see too many extreme features, but we may be able to have a guess at some of them. <gasps> okay, I'm thinking we may still have a Vlad chin. I don't think we'll have a Vlad nose. However, I think this still might not appear whilst you're a child. Okay, I'm going to just stick all the same skin details on. There's no need for me to do this every time other than, I don't know, it's kind of part of who I am now. It's like a passion project i've just i've got to cc them up and let's go for that same gray tone i'm thinking we've probably got a vlad lips as well i'm gonna say vlad lips and chin is what we're looking at here i'm gonna give you the eyebrows that you had as a child let's soften those out a little bit i think they're still gonna be very archy and then i'm kind of digging this whole fringe sort of wednesday adams look you've got going on so let's keep that let's go for this black fringe look it's kind of a vibe she is kind of a vibe, I'm just saying. And let's go for like a vampire-y dress. But let's keep it gray, because that is that is your theme, my child, gray. Not even black, although that looks fab on you. Let's go for gray. I'm also seeing body type seems very Vlad still as well. Okay, so this is the child. The one thing I'm kind of seeing, two things, brows, mouth and jaw like this area and this area i think are still very vlad but it is impossible to say until you age them into being a teenager so which features have hung around let's find out in three two one okay okay yes eyebrows instantly with the eyebrows i mean you can't really get around those brows can you they are just right there being very very archy you kind of think when they're children that oh you know what they're actually, I feel like Vlad's strong features may not be as much of a problem as we originally thought. Like, it's fine. And then POW! Puberty hits them and it's Vlad. It is just straight up Vlad again. Honestly, Vlad's look is kind of, it's very much him. I'm not saying the features are bad, but we are just trying to see how many generations it takes to remove them because the Reddit post kind of inspired me and I was sort of interested. And we do like a sim experiment here, as you guys know. I've never even seen this hair. I have literally never seen this hair. I do not know where that hair has come from. Are they custom content eyes? Oh, I must have given them Blanca custom content eyes. I'm like, how did you get those? Okay, we don't have Vlad's eyes anymore because we're actually using some obscurus eye defaults. So that's very cool. She's got some rings on that are kind of messing with her eyelashes, but never mind. We'll go ahead and apply this back on. We'll apply your nose overlay back on. Give you a little shine at the end. We'll try and make it look like you're smiling a little bit. I'm gonna try and find another fringy style because you were kind of owning that. I'm not trying to hide your eyebrows, but it may just be a happy coincidence. Or maybe you grew out your fringe and put it to the side. I don't know. Now let's get a big chunky fringe. Oh my gosh, this her eyebrows are actually going through some of the hairs. Okay, maybe this kind of fringe. There you go. And I would say at gen one, I feel like we are still sort of looking at a 
I think like a 60% Vlad concentration. I feel like when you've got naturally blue lips, you probably wear blue lipstick. I don't know. It just sort of feels right. Like, I don't know. It just, it just kind of looks right. Yeah. Body sliders, eyebrows, chin. I feel like this part of the face too, like these cheeks as well, very Vlad. And honestly, I think this entire although the nose like shape is different i still feel like the nose setting is the same if that makes any sense very beautiful long neck though look at that like a majestic swan so yeah i think so far the success rate very low i am actually almost gonna tentatively say 70 percent vlad still however you know one huge thing that we don't have we're not a vampire like if i change you to an adult i, I think that trait appears when you're a child yeah we're not a vampire in just one generation, so we've already you... lost the vampire trait, which is super interesting. Okay. Thank you so much for your help, Blanca. You've been beautiful, amazing, gorgeous as always. Let's go ahead and grab another sim to procreate with. Okay, I'm going to pick someone who's still oh, very close. <laughs> Why have you got a cut hashtag? I'm going to choose someone who is still very fresh in our minds. Beautiful, amazing, wonderful Coral. Let's go ahead and merge you in. Coral, I'm sorry, you are also about to be sacrificed to the Vlad cause because you are going to be procreating with Taran Vladosaurus here. So let's go ahead and play with genetics and see if we can remove some more percentage of Vlad from the mix. Okay, so let's do Coral. And oh, I need to make you a teenager. An adult, sorry, not a teenager. And there is something about playing with genetics that slows my game down to a complete halt. I think it's because I have so much CC, so it's trying to like figure out what to apply to the sim that you're making. But I mean, look how slow. This is crazy. There we go. Okay. Tyron and Coral. And um, we're going to be making a boy this time. So let's go for toddler first. And um, that is randomization one, two. He's like, hi. Oh, hi. Okay, and then three. So whatever we get after this child is the one we're going to be... Okay. Okay. This is one, two, three. Mitchell Vladosaurus Rex. Okay, I still think we've got a Vlad chin, but I'm seeing a lot of coral features. Okay, this is very interesting. This is very interesting. We've still got the black hair. I'm going to keep the black hair. I like the mushroom bowl cut. My brother had this cut when we were younger. I think every like little boy at some point has had a mushroom haircut. So I am going to... Do I keep a little mushroom but go for a little side sweep mushroom? Yeah, let's do a side sweep mushroom. Why not? This is a bonnie child. This is so bonnie. I'm going to cautiously add a little color to the face now because we're two generations away from the deathly pale vampirism. However, we are only two generations away, so I'm still going to go for a bit more of a traditional dress. Let's give you this fun little romper, but let's go for... let's go for a red. Yeah, I'm digging that. Let's go for a little red number for you. Okay, so here is Mitchell. Mitchell is so freaking cute, like literally. But it's very hard to tell the toddlers. Don't get excited. Don't get excited. But if you did guess three, you could be onto a winner because we definitely still have a Vlad nose. But let's see. Let's go ahead and age up Mitchell into a child. Okay, I'm thinking, yeah, we've still got the Vlad body type, which is like extreme down to the bottom of the slider. Look at this cool kid. What? Let's pop the skin details back on again. Kids like faces change so much between being like a child and being an adult. Uh, sorry, being a toddler and being a child. Their eye size changes so much. I think personally it changes too much because I don't think children have eyes this small in comparison to their face. Like I feel like their eyes are almost small. I've talked about this before. I'm probably like a broken record. But I feel like their eyes are bigger in comparison to their face than an adult sims would be. And I don't think this game always represents that. So that kind of bugs me. But yeah, your eye size to head ratio, genuinely children have bigger eyes in comparison to their heads than adults do. So it kind of annoys me when that's not followed, you know? I feel like we've grown out of the mushroom haircut. That haircut does look pretty cute on you. But maybe we grow... I just love this hair. Let's grow our mushroom haircut downwards like this. Let's give you your... Oh, were you meant to have these eyes or these eyes? I gave you those ones because I love that color. I'm going to keep those ones. From looking at the child, I think this area is Vlad. I think this area is Vlad. And I also think body type is Vlad. Let's give you a different outfit on that note. Yeah, body type, very, very Vlad, I would say. But I already feel quite optimistic about Mitchell. Let's go ahead and age Mitchell up into a teenager and see once and for all how much Vlad is in him in three, two, one. 
Okay. Okay. One thing I can tell straight away is that if I take Vlad's clothes off, excuse me, Vlad. Maybe I'm just imagining this. Okay, yeah, his his body has changed. If you look at the line of where his pectorals and ribs are, they were like lower, whereas now they're a little bit like higher and wider. I think even though these sliders are both still set to bottom, his actual body proportions have changed a little bit already, which is interesting. And from the front, you've gone blonde. Okay, well, we'll, we'll remember that. We'll keep you blonde. Whoa, what is this? What is going on here? Have you got swollen glands? Have you glandular fever? What is happening? What is going on with his neck? I have never seen that shape on a sim's neck before. That's interesting. From the front, if you put a... Let's just put a scarf on you, friend. Let's just put a little scarf. Hide those swollen glands. There you go. So you're not feeling conscious about them. Put a little, little red scarf on you. There you go. From the front, you'd never know. But I'm interested to know from this... Yeah, okay. From the side, there's definitely still a bit of blood. I'm seeing it here i still think even though the nose placement like the actual nose shape is different i still feel like there's a placement thing going on where like i feel like i can still see a little bit of Vlad's side profile here just i think it's where the cheeks are and where the nose begins I'm trying to explain his nose begins almost pointing quite inwards but then his nose shape is so exaggerated that you can't tell so i can still see that i can still see the chin he definitely still has Vlad's chin shape but I feel like the two sims that we've added have both had really strong genes that have definitely, definitely been hard at work fighting Vlad's genes. And honestly, in some of their battles, they've done a really good job. Honestly, you've got to hand it to them. Vlad is clearly a very strong competitor, but they're giving it their all. They genuinely are. Oh, wow. Look with the skin details. It's one of those, you know, the meme of like sims from the gallery where from the front, they are like literal god tier sims. And then you turn them to the side. Like, I don't think his side profile is particularly bad. I actually think my own face, like, here has a... I have, I have a, like, a very big forehead. And I think I have quite an aggressive edge to my face, too. So I think this... I'm kind of looking at Mitchell and looking at me. And I'm like, maybe my grandfather was Vlad. But yeah, I still can see a lot of Vlad features. And I don't think the side of his face is what you would expect based on the features from the front. That's what I would say. However, I am definitely very happy with our progress. He has decided to change his hair to blonde and I'm going to respect that wish. A lot of my sims do this. They just decide their own hair colors. I'm not going to fight it. If he wants to be blonde, wow. <laughs> How is he this handsome in two generations? Is that the power of Coral? Am I just gonna simp over whatever Coral looks like and produces? Is that just where we're at? Is that what the moral of this video is? Is that actually what is happening here? How good is a blonde hair and black eyebrow combo? It is a very top tier combo. I'm still gonna dress in Vambi, but in two generations, I'm simping at Gen 2. I'm simping at Gen 2. Technically Gen 3 because Vlad, no, Vlad is Gen 0. I'm going to keep him dressed in red. I'm not going to put those shoes on him. I'm going to keep the scarf. It's now part of your story, I'm afraid. But I am going to match the color to your outfit. And there we go. Gen 2 Mitchell Vladosaurus Rex. Let me know what you think of him. I am impressed at how quickly we have achieved absolute handsomeness at Coral. I think we have you to thank for that. I'm going to say good night, God bless, goodbye for now, but well done. Great fight. Very inspiring. Oh, I forgot I kept you naked. Let's, um, should I put your clothes back on? There you go. Okay, right. Let's add another sim to the mix. And now I have to be sort of careful with adding Sims from the Not So Berry challenge because everyone's getting a bit related at this point, and that is disturbing. What about Sam Silvertone? Oh, you were from my Paranormal series. You will fit in fantastically in this series. You already woo wooed a ghost, and now you woo wooing a vampire. So this is kind of perfect. So this is Sam Silvertone. She is my ghost hunting, paranormal fighting super babe. She is incredible, amazing, beautiful. She actually has a few, like I would say, stronger features of her own as well. She's got a stronger nose, a stronger jaw, and she also, I guess, has a bit of a stronger brow. But I think all of her features are great and beautiful. And I'm interested to see how she is going to fare against Mitchell. At this point, it's not even a sacrifice. It's more like a gift, really. I'm offering you a gift here, Sam. And we're going to be going for another girl. Let's go for a toddler of mixing Sam and Mitchell. And let's roll for three. So whatever it creates first when it finally creates it. Roll one. Roll two. Looks like this. And roll three. 
Looks like this. Okay, face has changed very little. So you guys clearly have like a set mix of what your children will look like. The chin is still there. That is still a Vlad chin right there. I think you've got a Sam jaw. I know you're only a toddler, but I'm already kind of low-key seeing a Sam jaw. This is going to be interesting, okay? I don't mind going for a brown hair, but I'm not in love with the hairstyle. How about something like this instead? Your eyes change. Let's change those back. And okay, I'm going to go for a little bit more color again. Maybe I'll keep it here for now. No, you know what? We'll free gens in. Let's give her some little rosy teething cheeks. I might have to give you a hairline, my child, because this hairline is very far back on this hair. Although now you've got two partons, which I'm not sure about. Okay, that's better. That looks quite real, actually. And we're three generations away now, so... Probably not dressing quite as vampirish anymore. So I'm going to go for a look, this little burnt orange kind of look on you because it's very cute. And that look is absolutely adorable. Okay, wait, I never gave you a name. Mackenzie. Okay, Mackenzie, what have you done to your eyes, babes? Right, Mackenzie is our Gen 3. Three. This is her as a toddler. So freaking cute. But how will you look as a child, I wonder? Let's have a quick nosy and see. Okay, <laughs> definitely Vlad figure. Yep, definitely a Vlad figure. I still think our side profile is genuinely not changing each time. And the challenge is to try and like breed out all of Vlad's features. So I'm kind of struggling. We've got another child rebelling and dying their hair blonde, which, okay, fair enough. You already had fairly light hair anyway. I actually love this hair. I wish I had an alpha version of this. But alas, I do not. So I'm going to give you this hair instead. And you are really freaking cute. I'm going to give you this whole Kenny from South Park look because I feel like orange is your color. And because it's kind of a vibe. And okay, Mackenzie, you are an adorable child. There's no getting around it. You are cute. But how many of Vlad features are you going to keep? Let's find out in three, two, one. Teenage Mackenzie. Okay. 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 We have had a 1% change to muscle tone. 1% change to muscle tone. It's the most we've had so far in terms of body. In terms of face. Oh, I actually feel like that's more like Vlad's original side profile. Let me just get rid of Sam for a second. Sam, you've been lovely. This is actually interesting because I always wondered, did Sims allow like children to express genes of their like great, great grandparents? Or is it really just the original parents? But I'm gonna have to take your scarf off. I'm so sorry. It's been very helpful. Okay, no, maybe not actually. This is Mitchell's side profile. And um, this is Mackenzie's. I thought that Mackenzie's chin was more similar to Vlad's, but I actually don't think it is. I think the bits I'm still seeing of Vlad are here, here, and body type is changing a little bit. But the thing is, I still think these Sims are cute. I still feel like. Oh, it's the face shape. The face shape looks more similar to Vlad. Okay, I retracted my previous statement. I do think you're becoming, you are expressing genes of like a previous generation. I didn't know the Sims could do that. That is very interesting. Please tell me I'm not alone in thinking that face shape is Vlad's. She's expressed her great grandfather's genes. This is Gen 3. Yeah, Gen 3. Our third creation from the original Vlad. And his genes are not going anywhere. Did I predict five? I could be onto a winner with that. Okay, let's pull in another sim. And I think it's time to pull in the big guns here, genuinely. If we're kind of getting closer to Vlad, I think it's time to pull in Abel. I do. Now, you may or may not know Abel. He's from my original series, my favorite sim of all time. And this is the reworked Abel because my Abel had a different side profile to this. But this is when I tweaked Abel on a stream. I gave him a bit of a bigger nose. And I just think... Abel's fob. Okay, let's go ahead and combine Abel and Mackenzie. She is gonna eat you alive. I can just feel it. Oh, I need to make her into a adult. And we're gonna go for a boy this time. This is the one that it came with. So that's number one. That is number two. Oh, cute. Uh, number three. Okay. What are we reckoning? Oh, oh, it's so hard to tell with toddlers. But I'm kind of feeling like maybe the nose. Maybe that's an Abel nose. I actually think that's Sam Silverton's jawline, which is awesome. Let's just check some skin details. Okay, so what is your name first? One, two, three. Eric. Eric Vladosaurus Rexus. I think we can go quite casual now. I like this little blue number with the little Mukau backpack. I think that's really cute. I'm still thinking Vlad's body type potentially, but let's go to child in three, two, one. 
Okay, yeah, definitely. It's really hard to breed out Vlad's body type. That's interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna put the same skin details on first. And then after that, I'm gonna switch the child's side so we can have a nosy. Okay. Oh, okay. Definitely still Vladdy. But chin wise, I don't think so. I think the chin we've devladified. I don't think the head and nose we've devladified fully yet. There's probably more work to be done. Okay, so here is child Eric. How are you gonna look as a teenager? That is what we'll actually decide. How many gens is this gonna take? Oh, okay, there's a lot of Abel in this child. I can tell that straight away. Body type has not changed at all. Still definitely bottom of this. I think we've even gone down a bit in muscle. <laughs> I'll do the same as before. How did you know to put that hair on? That's what I want to know. I will put all the features on first and then we'll turn to the side. That is Abel's nose from the front though, a hundred percent. Okay. I think... <laughs> <laughs> I actually have put hair on him that makes it impossible to tell. Let me just pull the hair back a little bit. There we go. I feel like I need to do this. Like, I can't even grab his eyes. No, it's not the eyes. It's the jaw. The jaw has gone very low. Yeah. This is the absolute opposite problem I usually have with my Sims. Usually they age up and they have no chins and I have to give them a chin. It's because Eric stole them all. That is the only thing I can think. I feel like this area here is starting to look less bloody. I don't know where this area has come from. I'm confused by this altogether. This area, though, this still feels bloody. And the body type. The body type is definitely still bloody. This is tough. I'm giving him a suit for reasons that I don't fully understand. But I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe we achieved greatness in the middle. Like here. I feel like Mitchell. Mitchell was better. Look at Mitchell, though. Like, Mitchell's front profile, though. And I don't know what's happened. I don't know what's happening, but we must persevere. Abel, I'm not sure you achieved what you set out for. Goodbye. But we are four in, and we have not managed to breed out Vlad, guys. We have definitely not managed to breed out Vlad. Okay. I need a woman. I need a woman like no other. I need somebody who is gonna be able to just sweep in and clean up this final little genetic soup. I'm trying to find Tabitha because genuinely, is there anyone more than Tabitha? I don't think there is, but I cannot find Tabitha. So I'm gonna go for the next best thing, which is my original Nuts of Berry Sim. It is none other than Minzy. Like if Minzy can't do it, who can? Who can? Because Minzy is adorable and amazing. And I'm really hoping, Minzy, you're going to work your magic. Okay, Minzy. Minzy and Eric. We're going to make a little girl. And okay, one. Cute, by the way. Two. Similar. Three. Okay. I feel like we were closer in the middle. Let's see what we've got. Okay. In honor of Minzy, I'm going to go for Minzy eyes. And as usual, it's almost impossible to gain anything from them being a toddler. You just can't tell. So let's go ahead. One, two, three, and age up Michaela. Wait, have we already had a Michaela? No, we've had a Mackenzie. We had a Mackenzie, now it's Michaela into a child. And I'm sort of confused as to where the lips have come from. Oh, <gasps> side profile looks decidedly unclousy. Wait, Klaus, no, Vlad. <laughs> decidedly unvladdy. How do I even make that mistake here? I don't know. Okay, has Minzy just saved it for us? Oh, body type, potentially no. You're in your school uniform. Am I gonna allow that? And okay, Michaela, please, please, please save us. How do you look as a teenager? Oh no, you have a pumpkin. You got yourself a whole pumpkin. I can't change these body sliders. I literally cannot change them. Okay, I'll do CC first and then we'll do the reveal. I even feel like the eyebrows are archier somehow. If I take this off, look at the uh, trousers in the picture. And then look, because her slider is set to the tiniest, it's like bowing around her knees. Like if I do this, it changes like the shape of her trousers and they like fit almost like differently. I don't know. But yeah, the, the trousers are changing because her figure is on the extreme side. But okay, Michaela. Michaela, Michaela, Michaela. Let's turn you to the side, my love. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, face-wise, challenge completed. It has taken us. Let's just get rid of Minzy so I can count more easily. Generation one, Taran. Still very bloody, but already not a vampire. Generation two, Mitchell. So handsome, but definitely still keeping a lot of Vlad's features. Generation three was Mackenzie. 
also beautiful, but I feel like we kind of went back to Vlad's face shape in terms of length. Then we went to Eric, who was generation four. And we kind of ended up with this part of the face. And I don't really know where that came from. I'm still a little bit confused by him. And then we went to Generation 5, which was Michaela. Face-wise, we've literally nailed it. I mean, she's very much a Minzy clone. But we've done what we set out to do. We've achieved what we wanted to do, which was to get rid of Vlad's features in terms of her face. I can't get rid of the body features. I can't change these sliders. I can't budge them one bit. No matter what I do, Vlad's body shape will always override every single sim I add. I'm going to try once again have i got any sims that are just so buff why yes yes i do okay i'm gonna do one more <laughs> makoa and michaela what can we do show me one two that is an adorable kid you know what i'm taking the second one i don't care i'm taking this child he's mine i stole him okay Adorable. Also, Kai. Makoa's jeans are very strong. <laughs> May have been a bit cheated to use him, I'm now realizing. Oh, the body slider, the body slider. Okay, toddler. Great. Child. Okay, child. I literally just went back on my recording and checked that I'd actually added Michaela because I thought maybe I hadn't because this is Makoa in a child's body. One, two, three. Although they're called Nico. Okay. How do we get rid of Vlad's body in this many generations? Makoa, I'm gonna just eat you away for a second. In one, two, three, four, five, six. In six generations. Can we get rid of Vlad's genetics in terms of body shape or not? We made a cat boy. Took us six generations, but we made a cat boy, apparently. Okay. Mission successful. <laughs> I'm not saying that like we were trying to delete his body type because we didn't like it. This is Makoa's face, by the way. This is literally a carbon copy. We were just trying to see how many generations it would take to change those sliders. And for me, it was seven generations. Seven generations it took to change the sliders of Vlad's body type. So just something to be aware of if you do decide to have a go yourselves at breeding with Vlad. Maybe you're doing it in your safe file now being like, yeah, my kids are cute. They're, they won't look like Vlad. They're going to look like my sim. No, 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 no. Once they, they become of a certain age, I promise you, those Vlad genes are going to pop straight out there. And even if you aren't a vampire, it's going to take you now uh, seven generations to shake those roots. Those vampire roots from whence you came. Either that or you can get yourself somebody with like vastly different sliders from the get-go. Makoa being a pretty good target. There we go, guys. The answer all along was... <laughs> Go through seven generations of your top tier sims or, or just use Makoa from the start. <laughs> Because I feel like this has made the biggest change of everything. Let's face it. But there we go. It took me one, two, three, four, five generations to breed out Vlad's face. And it took me six generations to breed out Vlad's body type. I want to know how that compares to your guys' initial predictions. And also, if any of you guys try this challenge for yourself, I want to know what results you get. Keep it random. Do what I did and just roll that randomization dice. You don't have to do it three times. I mean, I did it twice on the end. But just, you know, make sure you're not play with the genetics yourself and see what you end up with see how many generations it takes to breed out vlad's genes and i would love to hear about it in the comments below i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please show it some love and i will see you guys in another one bye